Hey everybody, how's it going? Where have I been? What have I been up to? Where did all my videos go? <laughs> we need to talk. Let's talk about what I haven't done in addition to posting. Uh, <laughs> I have products that need to be reviewed. I have, that's just a couple of them. There's probably five. I have the modules have arrived to look at Liz's bus and use to probably figure out when I buy a vehicle at auction, when I get a truck, what's going on there. I have this that has to be finished. Just a little work that's being neglected. I have uh, my tools that are out because I need to finish that work. I have some trash right here because I went last night on a supply run and that's uh, Savannah's thing is getting in the trash and I picked up the most of it and put it back in but haven't finished picking it all up. Um, what else? There's all my camera equipment. Been using that quite a bit lately. Been filming. There is a load of laundry. This is all clean. It's been sitting in this bag for probably about four or five days. Imagine how deep the wrinkles are in that. I should probably just throw the whole thing in the dryer again. What else? Oh, more stuff to review that uh, has shown up. More stuff to review that's shown up that I haven't done. A generator that stopped working and I haven't taken it apart yet because I haven't had time to figure out why it's not working. So it's just not working. Uh, let's go in. Poor Gladys's nest is gone and abandoned. I was sitting at my desk and a black snake got in and that's what happened there. Here's Liz's bus. Haven't touched that. Here is my motorcycle. It's in pieces because it's not operating correctly and I haven't had time to mess with it. I am waiting on one part, but haven't had time to mess with it. So with all of this stuff not getting done, what have I been doing with my time, you may ask? I've been working on a Battleborn battery installation video that is never going to get finished. I've got 15 minutes of it completed. And if you want, there's a link up there. It's an unlisted link, which means if it's unlisted, I don't even know if you can comment on it. It might say comments are disabled. I'm not sure how that works. I don't usually do unlisted videos unless I'm having somebody look at something and audit it for some reason. Um, but anyway, you can go look and see the 15 minutes. And that's what I did with Aaron, who is a very close friend of mine, who is a filmmaker. And she mentors me on filmmaking. Now, I can consider myself anything. A guy making videos with a GoPro, like right now, uh, I consider myself a YouTuber. There could be many names. It really doesn't matter what you call me. She's a legit filmmaker and mentors me on the things that I need to do to make my films better. And I really wanted to make this film about Battleborn videos the best thing I'd ever done to date. I'd spent about a week on it, maybe longer than that. And I sent it to her and you could tell that it was about 10% done. And she asked me, she said, why would you spend what's basically going to end up being your summer? This is going to be like a book or more even like an encyclopedia. And obviously from what you've shown me, you're only about 10% done. This is going to be your whole summer. Why would you not post all summer for one video that for all intents and purposes, 90% of your audience is going to click off in the first couple of minutes and just go watch grumpy cat videos. Or if you're like me, maybe Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier videos, something you're going to click off. You're going to click off because it's going to go. Whoosh. You're going to click off because you're 
just not interested in solar installation videos. There's plenty of them out there. Or you're going to click off because you're going to see how involved it is and how many specialty tools you're going to need to do it right. And you're going to think, man, I ain't doing that. But 90% of the people are going to just click off that watch this channel. That leaves 10%. 4% of those people are going to be into it. And they're going to watch it with uh, some degree of uh, excitement, maybe even to like audit it to see if I'm wrong about anything. They're gonna geek out over it because some people like to geek out over that kind of stuff. And I can dig that. That leaves 6% of the people that will actually maybe watch the video, buy the tools that I put in the notes, call Battleborn for tech support, do the installation. And so I'm spending six weeks, basically the rest of my summer to make a video that about 6% of my audience is gonna watch. What am I doing? She says to me, she says, uh, Jamie, kill the baby. I said, what? This is gonna be a great video. This is gonna, once it's done, it's a great video. And she said, yeah, and there's gonna be companies that are gonna wanna have you do the same type of video for their product. What would you charge for that? And I said, oh, I don't want to do this again. I charge them 30 grand, easy, 30 grand. I don't want to do this again. She said, so why are you doing it? Why don't you just get back to doing what you do and get on with it and get on with your life? Kill the baby. Well, Aaron, when you're right, you're right. And so that's what I've done. I now have the Battleborn installation video that never happened on the link above if you're interested to see the first 15 minutes of how it was going to be if you're interested in battleborn battery installations battleborn has their own tech support department and they have their own instructional videos and by all means i would encourage you to go to will prowess's website uh, his youtube page will prowess wrote a book on diy solar and takes a deep dive into this stuff will prowess is a solar He's your man for that topic. I'll still do solar installation videos here and there. I'll still do them. But the depth that I was going into on this, that's Will Prowse's bailiwick. So go see him. He'll hook you up. In the meantime, it feels good to be back. And I don't know. Maybe I'm going to take a couple of days off and address a few of the little things that I've got going around here. Get those clothes folded and get all the wrinkles out of them. Clean up Savannah's uh, garbage and get back to life so i'll be seeing you real soon and it feels pretty good to say that